No, the defender came and changed my shot. Um, so I got I got my defender up in the air, and as I was going to the shot, uh, I think Marquise came and kind of changed my shot. What was the hardest point of you guys fighting back, but just trying to get over the hump and stay there? Yeah, I mean, we just just a slow start, pretty much a slow start. Um, and then you got to obviously there's up so much energy coming back, and you know we did that. Um, but outside of that, it was just a, it was a good basketball game, man. Two teams, you know, you know, fighting for the playoffs, trying to win. And um, you know, uh, we did we did enough to win. Uh, we just didn't, we just didn't do it. This game showed exactly how close these teams are. They're in this cluster of five six. Yeah, yeah, teams. you know, us, um, Philly, you know, Milwaukee, and every, you know, everyone is in this little pack right here. Um, you know, these are the kind of games it's going to be. You know, obviously the next one against Philly will be like this, and then the next one against Washington. So, um, you know, this is a time of year where you plan for something. You're not coming to the second half of the season. You just, you're not playing for anything. So. Um, I, I, I like the way that we played tonight. Um, you know, we, it's a few things that, you know, we can change. Obviously, our start, but then the third quarter, our starters came out and played with unbelievable um, effort and energy. So, you know, I told the guys at the game, um, you know, if we play like this, you know, for the, for the majority of these games going down the stretch, we'll be in good, um, good, good position. Dwayne, obviously, when you're in Cleveland with Brian Love and even in Chicago, you hear these buzzwords. Did you ever envision getting back to this? It's okay, you can get a minute in overtime, but we need you back out there to, to being a leading man again at age 36. <laughs> um, um, not really something I, I thought about, you know. Um, once I, you know, obviously, once I went to Chicago, Jimmy was the guy there, and then, you know, Cleveland, not even close to being a guy there, but, um, you know, you, as an athlete, you always got to be prepared for you know, what's to come. And um, I've always, you know, try to be, um, try to start best in whatever role uh, was, is asked for me. So it's certain moments where it's asked for me to, to be a lead man, and certain moments where it's not. And um, you know, I'm not always going to be great in it, but you know, hopefully, more times than not, my teammates feel conf confident that. Um, you know, we're going to get some good out of it. Is there a way to pace yourself or simply when the game demands it? Do you sort of just still have to sort of conjure whatever you can put age aside, put fatigue aside and still try to get through it? Or is, or is there a different approach now for you at when this the, juncture? The, what you mean, that down the stretch? And just at, at your age, you know, conservation of energy versus you've got to get it done. What's that balance like for you? Um, when, it's, when it's at the end, it doesn't, I don't know, I feel uh, everything goes out the window. And then the games, you know, I lock in like it's like a, a mechanism where you just lock in um, to. But, you know, throughout the game, every game, you know, today on a back to back, I felt better than I felt yesterday. Um, you know, it's just, you know, obviously as you get older, you don't you don't know what your body is going to do. Um, but, you know, your mind's there. So um, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going through it for the first time at, at 36, but um, I'm fine. <laughs> no, we've had about three or four <laughs> since I got back. It, it seemed like you guys at times did a really good job dealing with Bradley, but he still got his 30. Was there more that you had to do tonight and differently on Saturday? Uh, I mean, it was a couple blown coverages early, but he played an amazing game. Like um, His pace to the game was just great. He took the shots that was given to him. He was aggressive when he needed to be, and he got off the ball. Um, and he still ended, you know, what, what did he score? 30. 30. And he still ended with 30 um, without having to, um, you know, feel like he was shooting every time. So um, this is this is the this Bradley Bill right here is the Bradley Bill that you know from afar that you always thought um, he was going to be. And um, this this time without John Wall has really helped him, you know, grow, you know, from a leader standpoint. But also as a player, he's seeing the game different now, um, having the ball so much. So um, he's playing very well, man.